we would go back into the fray. Judging by the stench, I'd say the animals at the ranch are all grown now. Mm. I wonder if they grew up during uh, power off time too. Yeah, sure. Horses. Remember to turn in the quest. I'm going to trigger this one while I'm on the screen. Someone who looks troubled about something. A little com. Hmm? Hello. Huh. <sighs> huh? Fret not. Kisar. Right. Again, need to check the, the video from the demo. Could you it think be? we can take that Zugal? If you're gonna fight it, I'll cover you. We faced demo boss. This is not demo boss itself. Nothing 
Stick, dude. Fang. 
Use its weak point to take it down. All together, everyone. What's up, Woody? I don't know if it originated in Vesperia, but yes. Yes, it is. I get the feeling it comes from before that, but I don't know enough about, like, the 2D games. These giganto monsters. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it shows up in a whole bunch of games. This guy out of first. Maybe. Over. Oh. No. Why wouldn't I be able to dodge anything in this fight? Here goes. Don't leave me all I alone never here. Miss. Take this. Tiger blade far enough. Use all the assists. I'm ready. Definitely not X cross. I lack the energy for healing art. Just going to die a billion times. So far, the biggest problem with going to uh, the moderate difficulty over the default difficulty is I'm spending a lot more I money on items after big fights. And I'm not really doing much to get it back. I'm on moderate. Uh, sometime after the Snow City, before I got here. You made the switch. Good. <laughs> really now. There's so that will buy back exactly one of the orange gels I used. Sure. Sure. Oh my goodness. Yeah, as far as I can tell, the main difference is just how much damage you take, really. I started on normal and used a couple of life bottles. That was in the quite big the fights. little adventure we went on. Now I'm on moderate and I'm using several life bottles on the big fights. This looks perfect. Guaranteed to hit the spot. How far is Ghoul? I mean, obviously, I'd... it's a weird question to ask because I don't really want spoilers, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know. How did I actually get 6666 Gaul? Like, I saw 66.
literally purchasing one thing to get off of you six, can never six, be six. too prepared but did we have notably further that makes sense I, I i trust him have to spend so there's much there's a couple of things that are bothering me right now just about the controls like they're they're minor things like it took until this point of the game to get um uh, of course you're over there to get the hold a shoulder button to use your second set of text button thing from the demo where the soldier says uh, did we really have to spend that much money? It took until now to be a thing. So I went through like the whole first half of the game and all of a sudden there it is all the time. Uh, okay. Seriously? Still can't believe we pulled it off. The, that one was in the demo. Uh. Well, what the? <laughs> <sighs> Thanks, Mom. Hmm. Uh, this the triangle button here on the menu. So I have the second set of things. So I can use, you know, more than three in a fight, since these are the airborne ones. It took until this completing this area to get access to that. Meanwhile, I'm kind of stuck using three arts the whole game. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I... I don't know. Like, the game's fine. I'm definitely still enjoying it. There's just a lot of weird things. I kind of wish the plot was a little more cohesive. But it's cohesive enough that... Eh? Do you have anything set to learn? I don't know what that is, but it's a text, so we're learning it. See that. Clearing uh, or collecting all five of the things actually gives you a thing. I'm going to actually pick that one. Owls, get items, advance the subquest bibliophile, huh? And everybody seems to have that title waiting for them. Um, what else is going on? That one. I've I lost a plot fight earlier today, or at least I'm assuming it's a one of those winnable fights that I'm you horrendously underleveled for. Use our help? We can't chase after every little thing. Hmm. So we're cleaning up subquests. You okay? Tell me there's a giant zoogle in the tidal plains. Huh. Yeah. I do like his enthusiasm for that. <clears throat> okay. Huh? Here we go. Twist, it's a zoogle. I'm kind of waiting for them to say because like it feels like every monster has been a zoogle. If it's a monster, it's a zoogle. But then they said, "Oh, there was a zoogle here attacking other zoogles." And it happened to be a dragon. So I'm waiting for... Zoogles are monsters created by the Renans. Dragons are not, and therefore not actually Zoogles. Stay sharp. We're going in. Should have cooked something different. 
don't know what the hell happened, but the Phillies manager is currently screaming at an umpire. Like, you can tell it's I don't know why he's still in the game. He must have just been ejected. Yeah. Okay. That makes more sense. Your weak spot's on your back like every other golem. Got it. I'm sure he's strongly expressing his thoughts. Um, do you have ice? You must have ice. Poison. Ice. Ice. What I also hate is that it feels like in this game compared to other Tails games, I need to actively tell the party to use the weakness. Instead of just trusting that after I've one or two attacks, they will actually make an effort to use it more often. Try harder! Mike, ready! Where are you going? It's over! Now you see what I can do! I'm going you into dust! You picked the wrong point! Here I come! Well, I'm proud! It's over! Start up! I'm ready! Who's the way you can start up? Down! You're ours! That's like an easy thousand. Who just used an item? Actually, you spread. This one. I didn't buy any more life bottles. That's probably a huge mistake. Do you have any ice? No ice? Mm. Find no heart. mercy! Resonate with the Cross. Cross. God! I'll smash you! Take this! Oh wow, it actually goes. Turning off the fire. 
even though he has a fireless version of it. Take this! Look up! I'm not good! Far enough! Armor won't save you! Not in your dreams! Water, here I'll stop it. its charge! Thank you, Kara! Let the marksman handle this! I'm gone! Not today! How about this? Here's the Look straight just keep using Freeze Lancer. Oh, he's using Regenerate. Oh, that's Commander of Heaven! She said make it rain? Phoenix Here I come! Going in! Hear my Yeah, like dodging away from it seems to make actually like, work better. And like the shield, I still can't figure out the damn shield block that she's supposed to have. Like in principle, it's cool. In practice, it's like it works once in the fight and then just stops. Oh, what? Oh, my God. Can somebody else give her a peach gel? Ready to go. Here I'll go. bring you back from Death's Abyss. Going in. Resuscitation! Their arts were interrupted! Not done yet! Thunder! Oh, good. This is why we're gonna have to restart this entire fight, because I just don't have enough You're life bombs for it. Careful. 
The enemy's on the right. We got him where we want him. It's time to end this battle. The other way. Can't get out of this. Tiger blade. Not today. Radiant light. Force of regeneration. It's over. How about the water? Thanks, Shion. Look sharp. Touch my adulterated I can carve through all hitting piles. Great to steer. Here's the evil. 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 Here's the
caught using all the time. Problem is, Shion has the area effect heal. Let's try this actually. Go to the one fast travel point. Oh, a bibliophile subquest. Right. It's for realism. <laughs> I don't think we've ever explored the first floor of this castle. It's been locked the whole time. We have a jump button, but we can't actually jump over anything. Like, it makes sense, but you just never see that in a game. Raising and breeding Zoogles. Wait a minute. It's an illustrated guide to breeding Zoogles. Just want to throw that one out there. That is a book I kind of wish we could just pick up and read really quick. Stuff like that I would love to read because the biggest plot hole in this game right now, and I understand a little bit of the storytelling context, is what the hell is Shion doing? And how does I the see crown someone contest who looks troubled actually about work? Something. A little compassion can make all the difference. I propose we speak to them. Hmm. Oh? Yeah! Yeah. This what? what? Hmm. We, we could make another one. Yeah. Got it. Great. <laughs> uh. 
It's a named NPC, so clearly she's good for something. We've advanced the quest. Give me the title. I hate that woman. I hate that woman. Time for the dragon hmm. game. It's true. Little Cab just knows this as the dragon game right now because he saw the dragon fight. And he's now obsessed with the idea of wow. fighting this dragon. Happy bottles just for showing up with my books. This is good because I haven't sold any books, but it's bad because I have used one book to craft another book. You need that. Ooh. This is attack. Suddenly, the other ones are not nearly as useful to me. ever quite warm up to her but I can respect her passion for books so I'm just gonna like show up here with all my books that now. can't be no hang on I'll be right back it's going to blow my clothes straight off so far we have Tigrina saying she thinks the book is going to blow her clothes off. And we have an illustrated guide to breeding Zoogles. Oh, wow! Hey! <laughs> He's blushing. They put blush in. Uh... Why did she <laughs> use the phrase? Uh -huh. hm. oh. I don't know what's going on. Are you saying they don't work in regards to how the minds of men work? Because if you're saying those don't work, you're absolutely correct. Teeming water. <sighs> she's going to have her clothes blown off and she's going to be soaking Whoa. wet. Watch we it. can keep going here. I'm pretty sure they're going for this. What is a man? Something, something, pile of secrets. Hmm. Now I have to pick it up. Ooh. I don't think I have any of those. When I did the 12 hour challenge for um, Symphony of the Night, I did make sure I had a wine glass, but it's still intact because there's a Batman logo on it and I like that wine glass. <laughs> it's glowing. Huh? I'm not sure anymore on this book. No way. Hey! <laughs> Books are wonderful for their ability to transport people to brand new worlds, said the woman in the video game. Although, in all honesty, they both do that. Out of books. What did we just get? Elemental attack. That's you. You'll always be in the party, but you're also a healer. You're the black mage. Number one. Also elemental attack. 
Let's keep cranking that up. Happy bottle. So it's this elemental attack up, but it doesn't do anything else. The Art of Torture. It's a book on capitalism. I said it. thousand gold item omelets that's a very extravagant chance to hold apply egg to frying pan in curious in you finding gems in the rough Astral Arts for Winners, you're sure for our guide to claiming lordship, but the only reason you would be here would be if you were a lord? We've reached our destination. I mean, first we're buying as many live files as we can get. Maybe not as many. Did we really just spend that much money? Yes, yes we did. Oh, I haven't any dumplings yet. I cooked him, I guess. I think that cook with someone else just means someone else goes and does it. Is there anything I have the materials for? This was the one thirty-four hundred gold weapon I couldn't get yet. When I say that, I really do mean the 3400 gold weapon. They seem to all have one. I guess I can't get that yet either, but whatever. I sold too many sturdy mega bones last time. Alright, so I need 3400. There's that. how well balanced this thing is you don't even use shields all right so there's a side quest here that was waiting for somebody to pick out clothes and literally the objective was wait for them to pick out clothes and then we left mm -hmm. yep we're still waiting for him to go out and find it whatever that means Um, let's check out the fever dream. Slow Games hasn't Looks seen this like yet. We made it here in one piece. Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? 
<laughs> Nothing there yet. This is the fever dream. One thing you actually uh, do seem to get out of the owl forest are the, um, no, yeah, these. You, you don't have any recolors yet, which is kind of weird, but stuff like this. That's what she's actually supposed to be wearing. This is barely tinted blue-green and is pink instead of red. No. This one, I think that's the default outfit. Red. It really is like just complete blood, whatever red. Yeah, th this one at least looks a little better, but I'm not a fan of red. This one, I'm digging this one. It looks more yellow to me than orange, but I guess it's more orange. You don't have anything fancy. You don't have anything fancy. We've got that in uh, an orange and, s orange and silver, the, the bread one. Got this out of there, too. Let's be honest, this outfit actually still looks really cool, and I actually kind of like it. I'm just going to let him go through the plot in his, uh, his, pl his literal plot armor. Yep. Yeah, if you miss it from earlier, they, they are both here. It's... The idea of the plot that brought them into the party makes perfect sense. The execution of it felt very... Blah. Like, it... It's fine. So wait, we literally just arrived in another capital city? Like, that, that mountain pass was it? Are we in the right place? This place looks like a mess. Yes, this is Niez, the capital of Mahag Sar. I don't see any signs of people. And the buildings. Yeah, this doesn't seem like the kind of place people would actually live. No soldiers, no Danans, not a soul to be seen. Yet look at these facades. This is clearly a Renan district. Hey, check out that drawing on the castle gate. That's the Darkwing's crest. The Darkwing's? It's from an old Danon legend about a hero who defeated an evil king with a torch and their trusty owl. That's his crest. I'm sure of it. Link? Really? First time I'm hearing it. So if someone drew it on the gate... It must mean the Renans have lost control of the city. Are you suggesting the Danans rose up and defeated the Lord here? Hard to believe, but not entirely unthinkable, given the evidence. Let's look around and see if we can find someone. They might be able to tell us what happened. <sighs> this is horrible. Is there truly no one here? All of these ruins look like they were made pretty recently. It's but if smoking. that's the case, then where do you think the people that used to live here went off to? There must have been Danans and Renans, right? That's a good question. Even if the Danans rebelled and managed to overthrow the Renans here, there should still be some people around. This debris. Do you think it could be the work of Renan Astral Arts? Perhaps. But the appearance of these ruins is rather uniform. Which leads me to believe otherwise. Hey, Rinwell. That story you told us about the Dark Wings. It said that the evil king was vanquished with a holy flame, right? Yeah, that's right. Then there might be some truth to that old story after all. It looks like all the rubble here had been scarred by flames. Let's not jump to any conclusions just yet. 
If we can find someone around here, we might be able to get them to tell us what happened. As a point of order, we did just fight the mysterious, totally not Sephiroth or Tyson guy right before this stream. Joe Helene, you forgot to take care of the fire yesterday. What do you mean, take care of? Ah, yes. You meant to put it out? Yep. If it stays lit, we could end up in real trouble real fast. I see. I apologize for not realizing that. I shall be more that careful in the future. Burned down this town the way he's talking, fire. it's like the thought of putting it out himself never even occurred to him. Moving on, Dohalim, I should mention that the clasp for your cape is about to come undone. Oh, yes. I tried to fix that myself, but it simply refused to cooperate with me. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Are you telling me Renans can't even dress themselves? Lords like Dohalim have attendants that take care of just about everything they need, so I'm not surprised he sometimes struggles with the basics. Even by those standards, you've got to admit this is still a little extreme. Shion has got a point. I mean, you don't see Renans like her needing so much help to get stuff done. In my case, circumstances forced me to learn how to be independent. Even so, I still think Dohalim could afford to pick up a few what more self-sufficient skills. Hmm. Well, specifically speaking, what would you suggest that I learn? For starters, I think it'd be good for you to learn how to dress. And put on shoes. How to comb your hair is equally important. And learning to manage your possessions better. And then from there... She sounds like his mom rattling all that off. Oh, and another thing. About your owl, Rinwell. What? what is it? Who? When he starts to molt, would you be willing to give me his old feathers? I think I could find a use for them. What do you intend to do with those? Well, recently, I haven't been sleeping well. However, I hear pillows made from owl feathers are very comfortable and wish to make one. <laughs> this is why I hate you, Renans! Uh, did I say something offensive? I mean... Next time, put your own needs aside for a second and think about how someone might react first. Then consider if it's worth asking at all. You did say molting. Granted, you're gonna need a lot of feathers. Is that a translation problem? I mean, it's ill-timed in the middle of that skit, but... this music I see him green owls maybe something's going on in the forest I'm surprised there's so many owls here Look, we can't all have owls in our pair. Uh, owls in our hair, red rose, tropical flower. Then. Yes. How much for the cat? Burned on the gates. Locked. Okay, it's actually just cloth banners hanging around. Door team. Oh, dragon, you you missed it earlier when we saw another force field, and they called law on. Don't you? Aren't you in this party to break those down? And he's like, nah. What are those out in the valley? Windmills? They're huge. They're most likely used to harvest wind astral energy, so they have to be big.
yeah, there, there is a force field, and they actually at least said in the game, hey, Law, didn't you break these down? Like, prob you probably can't break this one down. Okay, maybe I won't try to break it down. Like, they... He literally broke down every wall earlier, and now he's a higher level, and he's not even gonna try? Like, you know, have him punch it and get hurt or something, but... What's with this dialogue sometimes? Night Snow Games. All of you, stop right there! Don't move! They have us surrounded. Do they? Who are you? Where did you come from? You first! Show yourself! I'm the one asking the questions here. Don't try anything funny. One wrong move, and I guarantee we'll blow you away. What are you... My name is Alfin. I came here from Calaglia. Alfin? The wielder of the Blazing Sword? Getting pretty famous, isn't he? Here is my proof. Will that suffice? Or do I have to burn down one of those houses to make my point? No need. I believe you. Sounds like the shopkeeps. I'm Bayfon of the Dark Wings. Sorry for threatening to blow you away. <laughs> it's fine, we already We're burned down. We're still hunting down the remnants of the enemy forces. So everyone's more than a bit on edge right now. Please forgive me. Remaining? Wait, you mean you already took down the lord of this realm? That's right. We took her weapons and turned them right back on her. Are you the Danon leader here in Niez? Nah, I'm just one of the commanders. Deadheim's the one who runs the show. I'd be happy to take you to him. Just one problem. <laughs> the Renans. Seems the rumors you were running with them were true. You do understand, right? I mean, we only just liberated the city from their kind. Everyone's short on trust. And for good reason. Especially Deadheim. I think it'd be best if those two waited outside. Not going to happen. I don't think it's a good idea for us to split up. Right. It's too dangerous. <sighs> then it's on your head, friend. Our base is that way. You could have left me behind, you know. This isn't just about you, Dohalim. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I guess even after you beat the Renans, your work's only really just begun, huh? Yeah. This place seems like it's got a lot of issues to fix. that's over there unless that's completely wrecked <laughs> I don't think he has so your elfin are you the eye patch thought you'd be bigger huh guess the armor beefs you up a bit You've got a lot of people talking, you know. But in this town, I call the shots. You play by my rules here. Just remember that. Okay. Gotta say, I didn't expect you to run with a gang of women and kids. Those other lords must have been real pushovers, huh? This guy's got this great happy music Are you this theme. rude to everyone you meet? Don't interrupt me, you your parents teach you any manners? Why, you! So you're the one who took down the lord of this realm, huh? How'd you pull that off? 
We just swiped the Renan's explosives. And then we blasted them all to hell and back. You know, I approve of this plan. That's a pretty bold approach. But how'd you manage to avoid hurting your own people? We didn't. I didn't, that's how. But the chance to take out a lord was worth the sacrifice. And the lord? What did this sacrifice earn you? Unfortunately, we couldn't manage to finish her off. But now we've really got the girl on the run. She ran? A lord? Yeah, the lady was just a coward. She had a whole lot more bark than bite, that's for sure. She's probably hiding off in a hole somewhere. Actually, I've seen the intro movie to the game. Not She's on a long. warship. We'll find her and drag her right back into town. Then she'll get what's coming to her. I wouldn't be so sure. She may run, but she'll never go quiet. Shut up, Bright Eyes! I would have run you through already if you weren't with the blazing sword here. The whole reason you're is. fighting is to free the Danans in this realm, is it not? If Shut so, your then- mouth, witch! That's enough! If you're really fighting for us Danans, why keep these bastards around? Why haven't you killed them already? I'm not going to kill these bastards. Oh. Is that the case, huh? Then tell me the point of this show. They're my friends. Oh. I have a friend? Friends? Renans are Renans. The scum sucking bastards who've been draining our souls for 300 years now. I mean, he's not entirely wrong. But yes. Jesus. This game has gone over the top with every trope. Okay. Son of a you'll pay for that. That's enough. Okay. Dead eye. You know that was completely uncalled for. All of you, get the hell out of my realm. And don't ever come back. This is Tannen's realm and it's ours, understand? I call the shots here. You and said I that make already. the rules. I do, Dead Eye, leader of the Dark Way! Yes! I'm so mad at his chin is clipping into his armor. Deadeye. You are the true leader of this realm. We're not afraid of any bright eyes. It's only a matter of time before I throw every last Let's bright eye out of this realm! The Dark Wings! The Dark Wings rule! I mean, every trope has been turned up to a thousand, which is more where I get to the storytelling is a little clunky, but I do appreciate what it's doing. And I guess it makes it a little faster to kind of point out he's the chauvinistic asshole he is right up front. Hey, wait up. I think that's the phrase I want to use. Told you so, didn't I? Punch the fast. You should have left your Renan pals outside. You don't agree with him, do you? I could tell by the look on your face in there. That's how things are with him. He loses his temper, then I step in and calm things down. Better you than me. If that's all, this game was I due for a time we were going. Look, I just wanted to apologize for what Deadheim said in there. <laughs> huh. At least somebody's got some manners around here. He didn't used to be like that. But, well, that's what losing most of your loved ones will do to a man. He may never forgive the Renans. It's a little ironic how indistinguishable his manner is to that of a lord. <sighs> hey, Bayfon, Did I mention the lord is still on the run? Any ideas where she might be? We looked all over, but found no traces of her. We heard some rumblings about activity in Esteluva Forest, but that's it. Esteluva, huh? Wait, you're not going after her, are you? Certainly won't win you any favors with Deadheim. This isn't Deadheim's war, and we're certainly not fighting it for him. Besides, it's like Shion said, her type isn't going to go quietly. Hey, it's your funeral. Don't say I didn't warn you. We'll be sure to keep you out of it. Before we set out, though, is there anywhere around here we can rest? Sure. Building at the end of the road, opposite side. It's all yours. We use it as temporary lodging. To house people who don't have a new place to live quite yet. 
We're not going to run into any trouble there, are we? Rumors of a certain fiery sword have spread fast. I doubt anyone will be eager to give you guys problems. And here's where I say my farewell. You're on your own, but good hunting. Before you go, how come you don't hate the Renins as well? Oh, believe me. I've got my bone to pick with the Renins. Just not with two of them I've never so much as laid eyes on before. <laughs> Take that, Rinwell. Let's head on over to that lodge. We'll figure out what our next move is there. Should have just called I get the Dead feeling Eye. Dead I'm signed up to be a rebel, so he could have a roost to rule. Heck, he's no better than a lord. In some ways, he's even worse. I know. How could he use explosives on his own people? And yet, despite the toll of his actions, none of the Danans we've seen seem to question his assumed authority in the least. If anything, they may well consider him a hero, which would say a great deal toward how deeply they resented the Renans here. Still, I don't think this is as simple as saying the good guys won out over the bad ones. Yeah, I don't either. Deadeye might have managed to drive the Renans out of Niaz, but that doesn't make the way he did it okay. No matter which way you look at it. A victory that's earned by throwing away the lives of his own people? No, that isn't a victory at all. I can understand that the Danans here are standing up against their oppression, but that doesn't mean they have to humiliate all Renans just to settle the score. I'm perfectly able to stand up for myself, Alfin. Besides, I'm used to it by... But you shouldn't have to be, Shion. That's just... What I mean to say is... When you've been a slave for so long, it's easy to accept that's how it should be because it's all you've ever known. Constantly being belittled is no different. I don't think that's fair. For me or for you. <sighs> I just don't know, man. Don't know what? Did I manage to drive out a real live Renan Lord? That's incredible. And he seems to have a lot of supporters surrounding him, too. But he's got an attitude worse than any angry Zoogal. Plus, Niaz is in utter ruins. I don't have a clue what his game is. The Renans are powerful. And because of that, it takes a strong leader to have any hope of toppling them. However, when you take down one dictator only to replace them with another, ultimately it's just business as usual. If it'd been Zephyr instead of Deadime, I don't think things would have turned out like this. Rinwell! Yeah, I think so too. Zephyr did things differently top to bottom. He's not the kind of person who would have forced his own views or decisions on other people. When you do that, you're ruling over others, not leading them. To be honest, I don't know what I would have wanted my dad to do if he was in that position. Law. The whole thing feels weird in a way. It's a weird kind of feeling. But at the same time, part of me also feels... happy? Dead Eye Man and my dad are two very different men. For now, I'm content knowing that. More skits. The city is liberated, and yet the air still hums with fear and anxiety. It reminds me all too well of how Vicente once was. Hums? You mean like music? Yeah, none of this sounds like music to my ears. In fact, I've never seen any Danans with musical instruments in my life. You don't need instruments to play music. It can emerge naturally from the sounds of people going about their day and the hustle and bustle of life. You seem to care a lot about music, Dohalim. I didn't know that about you. Have I not mentioned it? Before I was a candidate for the Lordship, I had my heart set on the life of a musician. You? A musician? He's got the violin Indeed. In treasure. Indeed. Music enriches the world around us. I trained day and night to hone my art. Words could not describe my bliss, as my notes carried with them the sights and sounds of nature. 
the ebb and flow of time, and the thoughts of people on the wind. <clears throat> Dohalim. Forgive me. My loquaciousness can get the best of me at times. Don't apologize. It's interesting hearing what Renan culture is like. <sighs> Even though the Renans destroyed all of our arts and culture. Personally, I was interested in the music of Dana as well. The fact that generations of lords deemed music to be of no use to their slaves and outright forbade the ownership of instruments is lamentable. Not that my words can undo the damage already done. <laughs> sure. Beast hating man. What's wrong? <sighs> Ooh, that's a really good camera angle. And they, uh, they right. should, you know, the baseball, let's see 20 different views of the same play. And it takes five minutes to what find the, the really good one. Useful tools, like weapons. Hey. Yeah! We have demi-human muscles. All right! So is that the chicken recipe? things <laughs> curry great yes hmm. uh -oh. hey hmm? uh? oh good really Captain? But you're training as a chef. What? A certain someone. Yes! <laughs> All right. Right. Really? What? You're supposed to say yes, Captain, but I was saying no, Captain. Huh? I... All right. Yes. Over there. I... Huh? Yes. All right. I have questions. 
Yes! That's also true. <sighs> I, I feel like Tales games, at least there's the third option of nobody says anything about their cooking. But what you said, you're either a master chef or you don't know anything. Somewhere in between is the person who knows how to cook exactly like one or two things well. Huh. All right. <sighs> oh. By the by, Xion, if you don't mind my asking, would you be willing to share what sort of clothes are currently in fashion on Rena sometime? Sure. As long as you call me Captain. Sir, yes, sir, Captain <laughs> Xion. I was just joking. Kinda has a nice ring to it, though. <laughs> Elemental attack, sure. Um... I don't think I have anything new. Oh, cursory. Good job advancing to- There's a few of those in this game. The, the skit quality has actually gone up since we've gotten into uh, the last area before this one. I'm not sure I'm ever going to use those happy bottles, so I might just sell them later. That dead I'm creep certainly has a few screws loose, that's for sure. Forget that guy. Right now, we need to discuss how we're going to proceed. What's there to discuss? Dead I'm and his crew have already brought down the Lord here. Just let them finish her off. I want to go after her. I second that. I think it's the best thing to do right now. We don't know if the Darkwings have what it takes to beat her. I'm worried what'll happen if we leave her to her own devices. <sighs> you make a good point, Rinwell. And maybe I'm just being overconfident, but between us and them, I think we have a better chance at defeating her. I have to agree. This realm isn't going to be truly safe as long as that Lord is still running around out there. We need to act. Fine by me, but isn't Dead I'm just gonna take all the credit once we're done? Let him. Our job is to break down the walls that oppress Dana. What he chooses to build in their place, that's his problem. For now, we'll head to this Estaluva forest Bayfon told us about. Whatever we decide to do, though, we should take some time to rest first. We've barely stopped since Men and Sia. Except to go back and kill more things in Men and Sia. Why are you outside at night in a town that wants to kill you? Where are you going? Elfin. You should get some rest. What's got you up at this hour? Just let me be for a minute, okay? Why don't you go back to the inn? I will when you do. <sighs> Have it your way. Shion. The Lord's days are numbered. I haven't forgotten our promise. 
You can trust me, you know. Maybe even lean on me a little. If you want. And if I say I will, will you finally give it a rest? <laughs> yeah, of course. Try to get some rest, okay? What was all that about? So, we're just going to check things out, right? In whatever that forest is called. Esteluva Forest. Next time, pay attention. I guess that goes to the forest. I wonder if fast traveling on the same map will still give me an intense load time. You see anybody around here who could use oh, our help? We can't chase after every little bar. thing. Mm-hmm. Well... Wunderbad. I see. doesn't strike like the person, the type of person who would say on me, as opposed to in my possession or with me. Text. I hope it says that in the menu, otherwise I'm going to have to watch the clip. That's... That might be the mountain tower. Some cryptic text, all right. It could mean anything. Can't we just look around the area for clues or something? Hey, maybe these are supposed to be different locations? Oh, now you're into this too, huh? So is this fast or do I have to go through a whole load to get here? It's faster than a normal load. Southwest of the lake, northwest to the forest.
got sand in my eyes. The winds are strong here. Mind yourselves. Oh, even the inside of my mouth is all sandy. Hoodle, don't get blown away, okay? Another abandoned town. The winds outside the capital are blowing as strongly as ever. You can definitely see why people call this place the Valley of the Four Winds. Indeed. Mahag Sar is the realm of wind, just as Ganeth Heros is for water. Earth, water, fire, wind, light, and darkness. Rena is aligned to darkness, leaving each realm one element each. Is that because some elements are easier to gather in certain areas than others? That is certainly possible. But I suspect the biggest reason is to prevent the Lords from squabbling over resources. Funny. You would think infighting would come naturally to an elite class vying for a crown. True, but the Renans rule as a minority. Fighting ourselves would just be destructive. Though, as you saw in Menencia, any abstention from fighting is merely a facade. In the end, you all get usurped whether you like it or not. Hmm. That may be true, but something tells me that this time is different. We have to catch up to the Lord first if we want answers. Let's keep moving. What is that ring of rocks over there for? They don't look like they formed naturally to me. Oh yeah. Funny, I guess I've gotten used to weird rock formations. They didn't even register as being out of the ordinary. Most likely, they were brought over by us Renans when we first invaded the planet. Wait, those? So does that mean there's some kind of machine then? And if so, what in the world were they even used for? To manipulate the properties of Dana's astral energy. Really? Think about it. Isn't it strange that the type of energy each realm collects is so fixed? Astral energy by nature isn't meant to skew towards one element or another so heavily. So the Renans reformed it for the crown contest. Sounds like the crazy thing a Renan would do. Renans these days are more advanced than Danans in some ways. But even they don't seem capable of doing something on that grand a scale. Or is that something that's possible on Lenegas? Or maybe the Renan homeworld? I can't claim to know everything about my own kind. But I myself have never seen anything that would be capable of such a drastic feat. But at some point, they did just that. Those are the sort of people we're up against. We should do our best not to forget that. How many skits? You got a big wolf in there. You're so amazing, Kisara. You can cook, you can fix weapons. I feel like there's practically nothing you can't do. Maybe you should take a page out of her book and learn to make yourself more useful then. Hm. Whoa. I'd be happy to teach you if you want, Rinwell. I learned most everything I know from my brother. Really? Even how to sew and do laundry? Yes, indeed. He knew how to do anything. Sounds like he was a pretty handy guy when he was alive. He was. I'd always follow him around and badger him with questions. I was a real pain in the neck. Now that I think about it, he and Lagiel were the ones who taught me how to raise cats, too. Lagiel is that woman who was with him in the gold dust cats, right? I remember now. The one with the really pretty hair. Funny you mention that. He also taught me how to maintain my hair. Not that those lessons stopped it from getting all tangled up during training. I think it still looks gorgeous. From what I can tell, it would appear as though the only thing he didn't manage to teach you was how to apply makeup. No, but that didn't stop him from trying. He really wanted to teach me everything. Only reason he couldn't was because I prioritized my training. And here I was trying to make a joke. I can't Bad tell joke. if she's being serious. The only one here who knows him well enough was her. Yeah, I guess only Megal could have told us if it's actually true. Hey. <sighs> oh? Yes! It's the w young woman who's always starving, it's true. <sighs> Very nice! Is that so? I wonder if he's here if you didn't see him in Eldamencia yet. Gordano. You don't say. 
How? Your beef stew is exquisite. I see. Uh. Hey. <laughs> I think I have lettuce, apples, and lemons. Sure. Nice work. Oh. This fruit salad. Very thing? nice. Love that when you're cooking, you always well? get the sizzling sound, even if it is a salad. Yes! What? That's actually the biggest reaction we've gotten out of him yet. What? Don't believe this. <laughs> All right. No. Sure. Really now. the sound of cooking lemons. Yes! What? What? Hmm. <laughs> Very nice. Hmm. Yes! My precious harmony lives on within the confines of my stomach. <laughs> Money. There are two things down there, and I missed what this, they both were. Well, that was a huge miscalculation. Yet you've drained your glass all the same. Captain? Alfin, have you been washing your clothes? It may not be my place to say this, but frankly, they're starting to stink. <laughs> now that you mention it, it has been a while since I did any laundry. I'll wash them for you if you want. Just remember to give them to me the next time you get changed. Oh, okay. Sure. Thanks, Kisara. And Law, Rinwell, yours are starting to look a bit ragged. What do you expect? Of course they're going to tear She's up She's the over-the-top over so mom of the group. Yeah, but it's still kind of embarrassing having it pointed out like this. And is she on? I wouldn't touch me if I were you. Of course. My apologies. All I wanted to say was that your sleeves are getting a little bit dirty. You don't need to worry so much, Kisara. It's only natural our clothes are going to get a little dirty while we're traveling around. <laughs> That's no excuse. Your outward appearance says a lot about your inner well-being. Oh, shit. Now you've really set her off. Suffice to say, it would appear that the traditions of the Guard are still alive and well within her. What do you mean? What do the Guardsmen do that's so special? Mostly. <laughs> I'm simply referring to the fact that they're a very... regimented and know, cleanly right? group of people. Do I really sound that weird to you guys? Keeping your clothes clean and mended is completely normal to me. Don't get us wrong. We appreciate the thought, Kisara. But we've got a long journey ahead. It wouldn't hurt to relax your standards. Just a little. If you're sure. I wasn't trying to overdo it, I promise. You did. However, if it's making the rest of you tense, I'll do my best to tone it down from here on out. Still, if everyone could bring their laundry and clothes they want fixed, that'd be great. I'll take care of it all for you guys tonight. Don't you ever get tired? I was looking around my shirt because I know I actually have stitched this shirt back together in one spot. Did Nimmo get it? No, Nimmo did not get it. Now I can turn my phone off. Yeah, she's definitely over the top. Um, 
I have questions about how much many of them were actually able to wash their clothes, but they're also traveling all the time. Like, th th there's questions about a medieval society and when they actually get a chance to do anything, I guess. But yeah, they sleep at enough inns now, especially. Somebody should know how to do whatever passes for laundry. So they don't need whatever passes for Febreze. What were the two things I got? Okay, so we have the Pac-Man maze. So there was a statement about artifacts at some point. And I have absolutely no idea how to look at any of the things. There's the artifacts. So we got we have those two. Yeah, they this was the scrap they showed when they were describing artifacts. So once they said glutton's maze, it's like, okay, yeah, that's Pac-Man. Okay, that's where it is. Okay, that's good. That's good. Like, early in the game, it made more sense because you'd start getting into... Can I take this sword? Uh, they're all slaves. There's no real, like, wash person around. But you're past that. Oh, that's right. I'm playing as well. I'm surrounded! Prepare to be seen with the foot. Actually, perhaps it sounds more appropriate. Less talking, more doing. I'm on it! I'm on it! He's dead! 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 He's I definitely love the combo of I'm going to shoot ice bullets at your shield and then you're just going to ram that shield covered in giant icicles into them. Don't you have like eagle dive? Yeah, okay. We can really make weapons with this? I love how they're continually amazed by the fact that they can make weapons with this. Uh. I said southwest, right? are even worse outside the city than they are inside. Yeah, it's all ruined. Houses and everything else. Even if it was all in the name of beating the Renans, this is... Way too much they blew stuff up. think maybe something's going on in the forest yeah no we've got to go back to the forest soon this will be a delicious piece of cake never 
Now I'm flying free! Why can't they just sit still? See ya. Can you take care of them? No sooner said than done! The water is clean! Blah blah blah! Tidal wave! Did she say blah 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 tidal wave? Lightning reflexes! Ten of us? You're wide open! Thank you! I can carve through armor! You know, like, pretty much all Rio said in, uh, Vesperia was blah blah blah, tidal wave. I know Bobby said, are we gonna go, when are we gonna play multiplayer Tales of Vesperia in blah blah blah, tidal wave or something like that. And I love that game. Plus, like, the, uh... What amounts to the infinite grade glitch in that game involves Is every shield you own that. that big? Here, you want to try holding it? <laughs> How do you even walk with this thing? Parable. I'm actually going this way? One of your friends, Hoodle? Mm, how much do I really want to run around here? Let's go get whatever this outfit is. to find where the forest is and then honestly call it there for the night. Is this going to be another outfit for um, Dahalim? Or I need to remember Shield Woman's name. I love that like deadpan collapse into the pile of stuff. Oh. It's for, it's for law. The wolf head makes it, honestly. I actually kind of like that. Like, I think I like the blue one better, but let's wear the green one just for, just to switch things up. Finally, if only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. Both are really annoying. I'm probably about to have to fight all six of these things at once. Oh, good, they stopped. Get lost! Lightning again! Swallow dead! Glacial spear! This one's mine! Don't worry, I've got plenty to go around. Let's go! I'm shattering pesky airborne scoundrels. Sounds like a job for yours truly. Waterfall! Bang Bolero! Round and pound! This will come in your charge. Roll it back! Here I go! Come and get it! This one's mine! I'll finish you here and now! Fantastic! Great! Amazing! Shut up, Lauren! I was only trying to be nice. You're most comfortable at a range, aren't you? Cannot really built for close quarters combat. Nor am I. Don't worry. I'll help you keep a white guy. Look sharp! Super swallow dead! Take Bolero! Eagle's eye! Glacial Spear! Oh, here's the other one! No, this one's mine! I'll run you through! Lightning Orb! First strike! Oh, oh, now I'm in the groove! Go for it! Prepare to crumble! Ha 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 ha! 
Good to know my training is paying off. Hmm. That's the whole thing, right? Boost cannon. That's got to fill up fast at this point. Red summer. Out of my way! I'm on it. Water. In a bind. Eat this. Looks all in here. Let's see what I can do. Eat this. I'm not so good with your hands. Denied. I'm on Razor it. Razor high close. We've got flyers. I've got the front of the back. Can handle it. Death going in. All yours. Keep going. Watch this. Going in. But things could shift at a moment's notice. You're out. Better stand up. It's too fast. Stand back. I'll trip it up. These fists have got your name on them. Here I go. Just randomly. You're done. Get out of your way. I'll crush you. Lightning reflexes. Ten of us. Oh, you had one of those. Now that's a mystic art. We should really use them more often. That would be less mystic. Yeah, but it, we should use them more often. I honestly want the healer to survive. Seriously? Is this a joke? In a vine? Oh, it's you! You can see the, the green vines dragging down the one it actually affected. Awkward to play as, but n not so much. I don't want to keep trying it. Like, I'm still curious how much of it is just because I'm not used to playing as him. Second set of arguments. Okay. Everyone still in one piece? Yep. I barely worked up a sweat. I see the gems.
copper. Whew, what a rush! Yeah, I can just run through here. Judging by the stench, I'd say the animals at the ranch are all grown now! Horse meat. Anything new? Cash money situation. Yeah. We just ran out of mega bones. We're going to make the chicken. I feel all bent out of shape. I know what you mean. Hard to settle down after seeing all those ruins. We fought hard to help liberate the people of Dana, but every realm we've been to along the way could have easily turned out like this. When powerful forces collide, the destruction they leave gets that much worse. So we've been lucky things haven't turned out worse up until now? Regardless, yes. I don't want to see this realm get messed up any more than it already is. We have to capture this lord ourselves no matter what. Hmm. What's up, Kisara? You look concerned. Uh, oh, no, it's just... I'm looking at our finances and they seem to have taken a nosedive. I don't remember us making any big purchases, though. Ah, that may be because I borrowed a small amount to purchase something the other day. I don't think you can call spending more than half of our money a small amount. I thought bought you a new half? shield. Go, Halim, what the hell did you buy? As it so happens, I came upon a rather special object that I've long been searching for. Are you talking about that junk? Uh, I mean, that uh, unique-looking trinket you're holding? <laughs> Whoa, is that a... Indeed. It is a lost artifact from ancient Danon times. Most likely, it was used for some sort of rite or ritual. Ever since we Renans conquered Dana, such objects have been disappearing. Why did they open a joint account? I simply want to do my part to help preserve both our people's storied histories. Well, if it's to preserve Danon history, then I guess we can maybe look the other way. Just this once? I don't know. Why spend money on something that won't even keep us fed? More to the point, we all contribute to that money. I don't like the thought of anyone dipping into it without saying anything. You must understand. Had I let that opportunity pass me by, I'd never have come across this item again. Dohalim, maybe no one taught you that money doesn't grow on trees. I may have been a lord, but I realized that much. It's not enough to simply realize it. You have to internalize the concept too. Even after all this time, you still have no real sense of money. Our funds aren't your personal wallet. We camp outside and eat grass for dinner to try and stretch every last gold we have. You never know when we may need it. Uh, I don't think we're so poor. We actually that we have, have, have to a ranch where we raise chicken and then we can Shut sell up, it at Alpen. the shop. Whoa. Shutting. Let's just agree to not spend too much or be too thrifty for our own good. <laughs> Alfin, your blazing sword draws its power from Xion's Fire Master Core, right? So I'm told. Then why don't you use yours, Dohalim? You mean my Earth Master Core, yes? Yeah, I mean, I mean you still carry it around with you, don't you? I do. 
Each master core contains the astral energy harvested from Danon's slaves over the course of the last three centuries. Though only a select few qualified people, namely the lords, can wield them, they nevertheless hold too much power to simply abandon. If only the lords are supposed to be able to use them, how come Alfin and Xion can use theirs? That may be because Xion has embedded the fire master core within her body, something which wouldn't have occurred under normal circumstances. Okay, but why do you still carry yours around? Just as Danans see master cores as symbols of the lives and resources robbed from them, so too do I view mine as a symbol of our lasting sins. <sighs> the pain and agony wrought upon this world by my predecessors, as well as the injustice enabled by my own inaction, are all housed within my master core. It is a testament of all that I have done wrong. It cannot ever be used again, nor fall back into the wrong hands. Next time I suggest you leave with that. <sighs> Dohalim. You didn't differentiate between the deaths of Danans and the deaths of Renans. Danans and Renans both spill blood and languish in agony all the same. I just couldn't bear to hear it any longer. That's all. A little late for that. Still, why doesn't he actually just use it? Hey, Rinwell, what was that whole legend you were talking about earlier, back when we were by the gate? It's gonna be like a ten huh? camp. Oh, you mean about the Dark Wings? It's an old story about a Danon hero that's been passed down for generations. Like I said, I sure haven't heard it before. Yeah, me neither. Well, long ago, there was an evil king who tried to bring all of Dana to ruin. Was his name Ganon? However, a pure black owl heard the pleas of the people and decided to help. It chose a young hero and bestowed upon them a holy flame that was capable of vanquishing the king. The story goes that the young hero challenged the king and defeated them with the flame. Seeing Dana had been saved, the people flew the crest of the Dark Wings as thanks to the owl for its help. From what I understand, it used to be a really well-known story before the Renans came. I guess our people must have forgotten it over time. It's lucky for us you still know it. You sure are well-versed in these sorts of things, Rinwell. You know, the part where the hero defeats the king with a flame reminds me a little of Alfin. Oh, come on, it's just a story. Besides, if we're talking about an owl helping anyone, Hudo would definitely choose Rinwell. Sure. I might have helped take out our own kind of evil king with the others, but I'm definitely no hero. That and Hoodle's wings aren't even black. Huh. The owl gave the hero the sword, and uh, then they, they called it the master cord, and then we temper the blazing sword, and uh, okay. So we probably have two more skits because I'm sure we're going to get a resting one. But this one I think was in the demo and was one of the, the better ones. That turned out good, if I do say so myself. Although maybe it's after we wake up. Hey, what's the smoke? Is it an enemy attack? Seriously, it's making my eyes and throat burn. What the hell is going on? It's probably some sort of gas. Try not to breathe it in as much as you can manage. Gas? Those cowards! Isn't this just cooking smoke? What kind of food makes your throat burn so bad just from the smoke? I believe Alfin is. They're trying to gas Alfin? What? Those sick bastards! I won't let them get away with this! Calm yourselves and listen. I was simply trying to say that Alfin is the one cooking. Oh? Hmm. Maybe I should throw in some more spices, just for that extra kick. Yeah, that'll help. I think I'll turn up the heat while I'm at it, too. It was brought up early in the <sighs> game that it has a unique palate. Oh, crap. The spice is burned. Well, uh, at least the meat's coming along nicely. All right. Now I just flip it over, and then... Uh... 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 Hey, Alfin, what, uh, what are you doing over there? Oh, Shion, perfect timing. I actually just finished roasting up a chicken. Call everybody over so we can eat together. 
I used That's to the only a ton you of spices, feel pain and so it's got a good punch to it. Might have overcooked it a little, but it should still taste good. I'm starting to understand why your food always tastes so damn spicy now. Hasn't anyone told him that it is actually possible to have too much of a good thing? If that's the taste he truly wants, far be it from me to contradict. His cuisine is a rather delicate repast. It's impossible to have too much garlic, but you might have too little other food. Still got the cooking bonus. <laughs> Kisara, let's talk for a bit. Maintaining your shield? It's becoming a familiar sight. Miguel was the one who taught me how to maintain my equipment after I first idea. joined the guard. Just now it's just garlic. a part of my routine. So good. Your brother always seems to come up whenever I talk to you. That's because we had no other relatives. So it was just the two of us growing up. He was my idol. The one I looked up to and wanted to be like. When I became a guardsman, Lagiel wasn't too pleased to see me at first. It was Megal who really welcomed me aboard. Lagiel? Oh, right. She was Megal's second in the Gold Dust Cats, wasn't she? That's right. She's always been a very critical and down to earth person. In other words, the complete opposite of a dreamer like me. And the recipe says You're one clove of garlic. I mean, one in the sky dreamer. clove is like the, Even so, the big thing with all that's the stuff my brother's on it. doing. break each piece off, right? He'd right? never and let so me the, stop seeing a brighter clove. world. It certainly it's not a bulb. He always did what he could to keep me smiling and happy. You must have meant a lot to him. He wasn't just kind, either. He always worked so hard to set an example for me and everyone else around him. <laughs> he was a true big brother. So much so that when he thought I was asleep, he'd slip out of the house to go training on the outskirts of town. You seem to know a lot about it. That's because I only pretended to be asleep and would follow after him. Hmm. You know what? I'm at a good stopping point with my shield. If you've got time, how about I tell you a couple more Migal stories? I guess I'd better get comfortable. See you tomorrow. Add one garlic. Just keep adding garlic. I knew I was going to get the chew. <laughs> Infernal tongue. This one had a... Uh, you know, like this one says, you know, do the novice solo training grounds. This one said make roasted chicken with Alfin. So I knew I was getting it soon because it was in the demo. Attack plus 20. <laughs> his lack of pain has simply made his taste buds stronger. <laughs> oh my goodness. Some of those are worth getting, but attack plus 20 is also good. And what is this? Um... This is actually a really good one. Whatever. Continues moving along. Why am I getting this? Because it's the last one. Before we go, do you guys have everything? Literally all the skits. It's, I know it's not actually the Zelda crest, but it's got that sort of, you know, that, that wings design to it. Yes, Mom. It's true. <laughs> Add garlic to taste. So you want me to just eat the garlic? This place gives me the creeps. You really think that Lord is hiding out here? No. Be careful. The air is dense with astral energy. Something's not quite right about this place. How are you able to pick up on all this stuff anyway? Is it something that all astral arts wielders can do? I must admit, I'm curious myself. Perhaps her den and bloodline has something to do with it. <laughs> Dohalim. Apologies. I meant no I mean, disrespect. He's not wrong. Stay alert, everyone. 
There's a good chance that she already knows we're here. Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. And we'll find out what that is tomorrow. They've already done the, uh, the Lord was actually leading the resistance gag once. I don't think they'll do it twice. I mean, they could, but that, even for this game, that feels like it's too much. She's probably here with an even bigger bomb on an airship. The next episode of Dragon Ball Z. It's true. I should actually like start posting these on YouTube at some point. Whatever. Yeah.